Ego is currently one of the leaders in cordless electric battery operated yard tools and even advertise their equipment as having the power of gas. Is it really possible for a cordless electric battery operated machine to have the same amount of power as a gas powered machine? Um, uh, let's, uh, may, may, maybe we should, uh, take, take a look and see. Okay, anyone that watches my channel already knows that I am a big fan of Ego tools. But the question of whether this lawnmower can actually measure up to the performance of a gas-powered lawnmower is a legitimate one, so let's see just how Ego's claims hold up. Now, what I'm going to do is make a few passes on my lawn with my old Toro 6.5 horsepower lawnmower and then do the same number of passes with the Ego and compare what the cut quality looks like as well as just how operating the mower feels. Yeah, I know the way it feels is pretty subjective, but I just feel like I need to say something more than simply what the cut quality is like. I'm crazy, I know. So I've owned this Toro lawnmower for about 10 years now, and it's uh, been a great lawnmower for me. Uh, as you can see, it does a pretty nice job cutting the grass. I feel like the Ego mower does just as good of a job as the Toro when it comes to actually cutting the grass. Um, when it comes to the way it feels, um, not, not that that really matters that much, uh, but I, I do like the feel of the Toro. It just kind of has, uh, I don't know, like when you engage the self-propelled uh, motor, it, it just kind of has, I don't know, just got this power feel to it. Um, the Ego, on the other hand, it doesn't quite have that same feeling to it, but not that that really matters. It's really about what the cut quality is like, right? Overall, I feel the Ego cuts great. Uh, I don't think anyone is going to be able to tell that I mowed my lawn with an electric mower rather than a gas-powered one. I've been using the Ego for the past couple of months, and I haven't once noticed it bogging down or anything. In fact, when I go through taller, thicker areas on my lawn, I actually can hear the motor power up to get through it. So, in my opinion, when it comes to cutting the grass, this Ego mower certainly does seem to have power equal to gas. That being said, there is one area where I feel that the Ego falls short. My 6.5 horsepower Toro, I feel, has significantly more lift and is better able to mulch things like leaves into smaller pieces. Ego does have a high lift blade for their lawnmowers, and I have actually purchased one to try out but plan to make a separate video comparing the stock and high lift blades. Even though it doesn't seem to have the same kind of lifting power, it is able to easily mulch these weeds I just pulled from our flower beds as well as my grass. And I can't say that I've noticed any difference whatsoever between the Ego and my Toro when it comes strictly to mulching grass. Uh, I feel both mowers do a great job and leave my lawn looking just the way I like it. Well, now that I've covered what I imagine is the number one question on your mind about this lawnmower, let's talk about some of its other features that set it apart from its gas-powered counterparts. This is a video review after all. When you first remove it from the box, the mower comes pretty much fully assembled. You don't need any tools to get it up and running. The only assembly you really need to do is place the bag onto the metal frame. You do also need to remove the batteries from the box, charge them up, and put them in the mower, but that's kind of self-explanatory. The mower comes with two 5 amp hour batteries, but the battery compartment is large enough to accommodate two of Ego's 7.5 amp hour batteries as well. While we're on the subject of batteries, there's probably a few of you wondering if both batteries are required to operate the mower or not. And the answer is no. Only one battery is required to operate the mower. The push handle flips up by simply depressing this lever here and folding the handle back. 
The same lever is used to adjust the push handle to any one of three different heights, allowing you to easily set it at whatever height is most comfortable for you. The handle must then be fully extended and locked into place in order for the lawnmower to operate. Initially, I thought this was another kind of customizability option, but it turns out this part only collapses for storage purposes. Before purchasing my mower, I read a lot of reviews and they all said that Ego's mowers are very quiet. And uh, this, I found, is no joke. This mower is amazingly quiet compared to traditional gas-powered lawn mowers. Uh, take a listen and see for yourself. first time I used it, my next door neighbor happened to be mowing his lawn at the same time. Uh, as I mowed along the fence line between my yard and his, I was actually unable to hear my ego at all over the noise of his lawnmower. It's actually so quiet that I don't even feel the need to wear hearing protection anymore, and I can even carry on a conversation with someone at a normal volume. Uh, with my old Toro mower, I would always wear earmuffs, and uh, whenever my wife or kids would come out to talk to me, I'd always have to turn it off and stop mowing. Besides being quiet, the Ego mower is also fairly lightweight compared to a gas-powered lawnmower. Ego has this peak power model listed at 75 pounds. Now, I'm not sure if that's its shipping weight in the box or the weight of the actual mower itself, uh, I have no means of weighing it, so I can't verify that in any way, but either way, it definitely feels lighter and easier to maneuver than my Toro. It's so easy to push around, I honestly don't feel like I even need the self-propulsion that comes on this model. Having the self-propulsion is nice, though, when going uphill on the few areas in my yard where we have a little bit of a slope. My old mower is front-wheel drive, and this mower is rear-wheel drive, which has taken me a little bit of getting used to. It's not a big deal, though, and it's something I was able to adjust to the first time I used it. But again, it required me to change the way I mow a little bit, so I figured it was worth mentioning. The speed of the self-propulsion can be adjusted using this lever here. Uh, according to the GPS on my phone, at its minimum speed, it does about a half a mile an hour, and at max speed, it does around three miles per hour. I feel the max speed is more of a getting from point A to point B quickly speed uh, when you're getting the mower out or putting it away, rather than one you'll be mowing at, as it feels a bit too fast to me. You can, of course, set the speed to anything between the minimum and maximum, so you can really easily dial in the speed to what is most comfortable for you. I do have one suggestion for Ego on this, though. I think what would make the self-propulsion even better is if you could still set your max speed using the lever, but then also be able to feather the self-propulsion bar so that the more you squeeze the bar, the more the mower will accelerate until the bar is fully depressed and running at the speed which you have set it to. Right now, when you pull the self-propulsion bar, it's more of an on-off switch. Uh, I just think adding in that kind of granular control would make it perfect. Personally, I like to mulch my grass most of the time, uh, but this mower does come with both a bagger and side chute as well. Inserting and removing the mulching plug is super easy. It has this very convenient handle on it and you just lift the rear door here, insert the plug, close the door, and you're ready to mulch. Compared to my Toro mower, Ego's bag hooks onto the mower much more smoothly and easily. It pretty much just sets right into place. My Toro, on the other hand, requires you to kind of muscle it into place. Putting on the side discharge chute is probably the most difficult thing to do on this mower, but is still quite simple. 
there's this tab here that inserts into the slot here on the back of the mower and then you have to lower the rear door so it catches the prong on the top of the chute and holds it in place. As I've already mentioned, it does a great job mulching my grass. Uh, the bagger works just as you'd expect it to. And although the side discharge chute is a very different design from ones I've used before, uh, it seems to work just fine. The battery life is fantastic, in my opinion. My home sits on a quarter acre lot, and it takes me about 40 minutes to mow my lawn. After I've finished mowing, I placed both of the five amp hour batteries on the charger to see just how much charge is left in them. And they're at about 50% charge, which leads me to believe you could mow up to half an acre or so with this mower on a single charge. Once they've been fully depleted, charging each battery takes about 40 minutes. Uh, so that's a total of 80 minutes if you only have a single charger. This could be a pretty big inconvenience if you have a large lawn that takes more than one charge to complete. Although, if your lawn is that large, I would assume you'd be using a riding lawn mower rather than a walk behind like this. Adjusting the height of the mower is a breeze compared to my old mower. My Toro requires me adjusting the height on each wheel individually. Ego has one easy to use shifter style handle that adjusts the height of all four wheels simultaneously. So wait. So far, I haven't missed having to go to the gas station to fill up my gas can or filling up my mower with gas before each use at all. Uh, there's no pull starting either. All you do is push down the power button, pull back the ignition safety bar thing, and you're off. One thing Ego has designed into this mower that I didn't think I'd really use is the headlights. There's a pair of LED headlights on the front of the mower, and despite me thinking I'd never really use them when I bought it, I actually have used them, and it was great. They don't light up the path in front of you like your car's headlights do or anything, but they do illuminate things enough that you can follow your mow lines and keep mowing after the sun has gone down, which is another great thing about how quiet Ego's lawnmowers are. On those hot summer days, rather than mowing in the heat of the sun, you can start early in the morning or wait until it's dark, turn on your headlights, and mow while it's nice and cool, and you don't even have to worry about disturbing your neighbors. The last thing I want to talk about that I love about this mower is its ability to fold up and store. When it's all folded up, it's about the size of a suitcase and I can stow it away in my garage and don't have to worry about it being in the way. My Toro mower does not have this kind of feature and it just takes up a lot of space in my garage. The biggest con to this Ego lawnmower has to be its $750 price tag. It is very expensive. It's more than twice what I paid for my Toro uh, 10 or so years ago when I bought it. But with electric tools like this, you're really buying into a battery platform. The great thing about Ego Tools is you can use the batteries from one tool on any of their tools. So once you own some of their batteries, you can buy other bare tools for much less than the kits with batteries and then use the batteries you already have. There's also the whole thing about not needing to buy gas anymore or oil or air filters or any of that other stuff that you should also factor in and consider. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, if you're looking to get away from the hassle, smell, and fumes of gas-powered lawn care equipment, I would definitely recommend this lawnmower from Ego to anyone that is looking to buy it, especially if you're looking to purchase other Ego tools that you can then use this mower's batteries with. If you have enjoyed this video, found it helpful or whatever, uh, please hit the thumbs up button before you take off. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you'd like to help me make more content like this, uh, please share this video with your friends and or family members that may also enjoy it. Leave a comment or you can even check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description 
uh, where you can purchase the cool products I feature in my videos. I hope that you have a fantastic day and I look forward to hanging out again in another video. We'll see you next time.